Hi, kids. Welcome to Inside the Doghouse. Clifford, where are you? Oh, we're going to meet some of the people in Clifford's really big movie and find out how it was made. I play Emily Elizabeth. Um, she is the owner of a big, giant red dog named Clifford. Oh. I love you, boy. Clifford hears that his size has kind of become a problem. Why, he'll eat you out of house and home. He actually misinterprets it. I'm a problem. Mr. Bleakman said so. He feels that he's just too big and too much of a problem to live on Birdwell Island anymore. I'm going to join Larry's show and win that Tummy Yummies contest. And leave Emily Elizabeth? He just breaks my heart because I, I think he's run away and I don't know why. I play Clifford the Big Red Dog. My name is John Ritter, the Big Red Actor. Hello there. There's always an excitement for kids to have a gigantic animal who you can love and who loves you and it's it's a very big uh, red comfort ladies and gentlemen it's big red to the rescue you don't say cleo she's the loud mouth the know-it-all the one that gets them into all the trouble have i ever steered you wrong well don't answer that she usually manages to hatch some kind of plot stick close and follow me ready guys Ready. That gets, you know, T-Bone and Clifford into some kind of mad adventure. What was the plan again? <laughs> I am Kel Mitchell, and I play T-Bone. This guy. Ha! <laughs> Hi, Clifford! Hey, T! Yes, he is a bulldog, but he is so lovable. He's all about friendship. Loves to have fun. <laughs> He's so little. T-Bone sounds like he should be bigger. T-Bone! That's my cue. You three just watch and learn. Enough. I proudly introduce the star of our show, Shackelford, the high-flying parrot. Shackelford is this fast-talking, uh, very streetwise leader of these animals that, that they're in this uh, circus. Talented, unique, amazing animal. Uh, he basically is the glue that holds his little animal family together. Like I always say, you've got to go with what you got. Shackelford is a ferret of the world. He is, he's been around the block a few more times. He's yes, you did okay. We all did okay, but okay is not enough. Okay does not dazzle, okay does not delight, and okay does not, I repeat, does not win contest. He knows that if they don't win the grand prize, that basically his animal family and Larry, they're going to be split apart. OK, now, don't move. I'll go get Larry. That's Gable Gobble. Gable like Clark, gobble like turkey. Um, I was kind of shocked when they sent me the mock-up of the character. He kind of resembled me. <laughs> I don't believe it. I didn't know whether to be flattered or not. Now, I present to you a powerhouse pooch, a muscle-bound <laughs> mutt, that ripped up rover, Rodrigo Chihuahua of Steel. <sighs> Amazing thing about Chihuahuas, they are very tough. I read the books when I got to the States when I was 14 years old. Don't make fun. <laughs> it was really fun, you know, because I was learning English. Don't not make fun. <laughs> you, my little amigo, need to focus on keeping those weights up, up, up instead of down, down, down. I have two favorite parts of the whole animation process. I would say um, my first favorite part is the recording. I loved your up, up, up instead of down, down, down. <laughs> the animation is done after the voices are done, which a lot of people, they don't realize that. Uh, what lines would this go in between? Uh, where P.T. says to you, look, Larry, it's my job as a dialogue director to describe what the action is. Cleo's just said, yeah, Clifford, let's take five. I kind of orchestrate how the tempo and the rhythms of the actors will be. My fans are waiting. <laughs> <laughs> to help the actors visualize what it is that they're going to be doing and what's going on in the story, we bring in, like, all kinds of things. Like, we bring in storyboards to show pivotal moments, uh, we bring in storyboards to show what the characters will be moving like. Because some characters, like, say, Shackelford, sometimes he crawls around on all fours when he's sneaking around, and sometimes he's all walking on his hind legs. Yeah, it's pretty cool. For me, voiceovers are so beautiful because the possibilities of who you can play are limitless. You know, I get to be Cleo the Poodle. It's awesome. I love doing voiceover because you can come in your pajamas. I've done voiceover in my pajamas before. Biggest challenge is to, um, 
not to give in to the temptation to just show up in your pajamas. There's some times where, because I don't have to come in 100%, I just put cologne on one side of the face. Does it get any better than this? Half the acting, obviously, is done by the, the actors doing the voice. But then we have to take that voice, and then we have to kind of really carve out through drawings what is the performance here? What is this character really saying? So we end up blocking out uh, the scenes with the animators the way you would block out a scene with an actor. That's just the beginning. The animators start with a series of drawings or storyboards that tell the story. Uh, Mary, me the chief. Next, they add movement to the drawings with just pencils and pens. Uh, Mary, me the chief. Finally, they paint in the color, and we get the really big movie. Uh, Mary, will you get me the chief? Watch this. That was really amazing. They were unbelievable. They were stupendous. They were really good. Ooh, you said it, T-Bone. Hey, <clears throat> let's go back and get their autographs. Or we could get them to sign something for us. Great idea. <sighs> Clifford rubs off on other characters. Other characters learn from Clifford what it means to be good-hearted, what it means to be a real, true friend and help someone out. That's our Clifford. The kids who watch Clifford really come away with uh, uh, some wonderful, you know, sort of images of friendship and loyalty and responsibility. Be the best red dog on your block. Oh, you're my hero, Clifford. I think there is no better character than a big red dog that's soft and fluffy and doesn't make a mess. I sure do love you a whole lot. The end.